So hi everyone, welcome back, thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is the week ahead reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Please remember it is a general reading so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, please feel free to move forward respectfully to the next reader who may have a message for you at this time. However, um, if you are here, there's a reason why you are here. So let's jump in, see what we have. So I'm going to call in the angels, guys, keeps the light. Please guide me at this time. What does Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs need to know for the week ahead? Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What is it they need to know for their highest good? Okay, so please remember if you are liking this video to click on that like. Remember to share, subscribe if you feel inclined to. Click on the bell as well so you get the notifications. Every bit of energy that you put into this channel is so gratefully accepted and appreciated. Try and make this channel grow so that the message, messages can get where they need to go. So this week, the main themes are for cancer. Answers, empowerment and love. So this week, you may become clearer on answers, things that have been hidden from you before. Um, I'm very much feeling this could be spiritual answers as well. It could be you've been asking the universe, why isn't this happening? Why did that happen, etc. And it's starting to come through to you. You're beginning to learn and understand. You're beginning to grow and know why things have happened, why things have been stuck, why things didn't work out when you really wanted them to work out. For others of you, um, it's just more to do with the fact that other people may be coming through with answers. I'm also being drawn towards if you've got a problem and you've been trying to work out how to actually fix it, um, answers are coming to you. You will get this epiphany where you think, right, that's the answer. That's where I need to be heading. Again, it could be that there's uh, outside influences that can be bringing you that information. We also have love and we have empowerment. So when I'm getting these two cards together, I am feeling that this is a week of really focusing on your self-love. Building yourself up, empowering yourself, doing things that are going to make you feel good about yourself. Um, Self-love has always been sort of seen as like a conceited sort of like energy. Oh, you love yourself, etc. But this is not that. This is that gentle love. This is just being kind to yourself, knowing yourself, knowing when your cup is full and taking that time to actually just relax and not have... Um, to drain yourself more than you need to be draining yourself, taking that time out to fill your cup so that you can actually work from a better space, so you can provide for others from a better space. Because when you look after you, you can then provide for others in a much better way. So jumping into the tarot, what do we need to know for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising signs? What does the tarot have for Cancer this week? So current situation, let's have a look. Current situation for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. What is the current situation for Cancer? A challenge. What challenge could Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising signs be facing this week? What challenge could Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising signs be facing this week? And what is advice from spirit? Okay, so. Current situation, standing your ground. So this could be battles with others. Um, as we've got that answers card coming up. Uh, coming through I am feeling that this could be that you are having to stand your ground but you're finally getting answers as to why you're having to stand your ground it could be that new insight has come to you um that has made you realize that do you know what you were in the right all the time it could be that you've sort of like I'm feeling that energy of feeling not trusting yourself and feeling that you could have been in the wrong some way or another but I'm feeling that Answers are coming forward and they are presenting to you and you are realising, do you know what, um, 
I wasn't in the wrong. I was doing what was right, etc. And so you're having to stand your ground um, and move forward is what I'm feeling. It's just about moving forward confidently, knowing that you have that higher ground. That's not going and saying to someone, ah, I told you so. I knew what was that this was going on, etc. This is about you taking that higher ground, be it leading by example, really just saying, I've got my answers. Now I can move on. Now I can move forward. Don't need to be getting into the energy of tit for tat, etc. Just getting on with it and moving forward. Now, the challenge this week is we have triumphant success and we have the throat chakra. So the challenge could be speaking your truth, speaking, um, being honest, especially if there has been that argument and you know you've got that higher ground. Um, this did actually come out in reverse, suggesting that it's stuck. But I'm feeling that maybe... Um, I'm just getting this feeling that you are really, really wanting to say to someone, I told you so. And I'm feeling that you are, it's not going to benefit you if you say it to them. Um, because what we also have is this mental conflict. And I'm feeling that you are in two minds. You're sort of like saying, mm, I really want to tell them, but I don't. And that's the sort of energy that you're in. So just watch it. If you do come across this person um, that you are dealing with, and you do get into a conversation with them, just watch what you're saying. Don't get drawn into that battle energy and spitting out, well, I told you this, etc. Um, you know exactly what I'm saying. Just don't get drawn into any battles. This is about you being mentally strong and understanding that, do you know what, there's things that have happened, they don't need discussing. You know the bigger picture. That's it. Just leave it as it is because you are moving on. Now, Advice from spirit is triumph. Now, this has actually come out in reverse. So I'm feeling that whatever it is that you are working towards could be slightly slower than expected. It's um, it's just taking those tiny steps, especially if this is sort of like an argument within sort of like the home with a partner, etc. Um, things have come to light. Yes, you know, you know, you've got that higher ground, etc. Things may be moving forward and you may be moving forward together, still continuing, whatever it is, hasn't actually um, ended the relationship or anything. It's just that it's it's slow going. It's hard work. And I'm feeling that you are having to put in that hard work. It did come out with the deception and envy card. So whoever you are dealing with has probably been a bit deceptive. Um, I'm not even feeling with this one that this is to do necessarily with partners. I'm feeling now it's just whoever you've been dealing with, whoever you've got this higher ground over, they have been in that manipulative energy. They have been wearing a mask. They've not been showing you things that you needed to do. And it has actually slowed things down. Things could have been moving forward in a very positive way, but this deception's come in and it's slowed things down. And I think, to be quite honest, this is the best energy to be in. If there's been deception, it's no point just keep rushing forward and keep going forward because, yes, move forward, but don't rush it. Just watch out for anything extra coming out, etc. So, Cancer, that is your week ahead reading. Again, remember, if you are liking, give me that thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos. I am making more and more videos each and every day. So please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can so you don't miss them. OK, but having said that, have a fantastic week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.